Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over uh, using the web browser Google Chrome. It's been out for a couple years now, and I've only in the past month or two have made it my default browser of choice at home and here at work. And it is really a nice browser. And what it's got going for it that IE doesn't have, and certainly, and Firefox has kind of gotten away from this too, is being lean and fast. So that you, as you can tell, I'm here in uh, Google Chrome right now. And there's not a lot of stuff to it. The toolbar is pretty minimal. Um, I do have some extension buttons over here on the right, and I'll show you a little bit about those in just a second. But there's really not much to it. The tab interface is at the very top of the window. That's a little bit unusual, above the address bar. Now, it does have a lot of normal features. We do obviously have multi-tab browsing, so I can uh, open up a new tab pretty easily and head over to a site. Now, let's go over to CNN. There we go, so that's pretty straightforward. Now, you also have the ability to pretty easily to rearrange tabs, so I can click and drag a tab left or right where necessary. And I can even take a tab and I can drag it away from the tab bar and I can make a separate browser out of that. So then if you have a dual monitor system or you just want to display this separately, you can. And if I want to get that back in the original lineup, I just take that tab and drag it right back up and it's back part of that one session. So that's a pretty nice little feature there. Um, Besides being fast, you can also add to the capabilities. Now, I was a big fan, and I still am. I'm a big fan of Firefox because of all the extensions you can add to Firefox. Well, Chrome also has a whole bunch of extensions. So I've got a number of them right up here. Okay, and let me go to a more detailed list. I'll go to my tools. There we go, tools and extensions. So these are a list of my extensions. You know, I've got Adblock is a great one. Boomerang for Gmail. I just installed that the other night. It looks like it's going to be pretty slick. Uh, Firebug, Google Tasks, um, PageRank is kind of interesting. So a bunch of different extensions to add to the capabilities and the usefulness of your particular browser. And Firefox has a ton of these, probably a little bit more than Chrome even. So those are pretty nice, but let's try adding another one. So um, I'm just going to do a quick search for Chrome extensions. Notice I'm just typing my search words right there in the address bar. I didn't have to do any prefix for it. I'm just typing it. And I can see in the results some things will be a web address. There's a little, you know, there's a little globe. So that'll actually take me right over to a page that it thinks might satisfy my needs. Or it can take me to a search result, a Google search result. Okay. So there's a number of different things it'll find. If I go to Chrome extensions, the search results, I'll get a typical Google interface, and then I can jump over to Google Chrome extensions. Here we go, and I see they've got a bunch of extensions on here. There's popular, recent, top rated, and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see, I'll just scroll down a little bit here. What, do we, what have we got? Search preview for Google could be pretty cool. Google dictionary, all right, what the hell, I'll try that one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this. One click install should be pretty nice. Choose the install option. It's now installed. Okay. The icon will be visible when the, ext uh, when the extension can act on the current page. You can manage your installed extensions by clicking extensions in the tools menu. So it gives me a little bit of basic information there. Sounds good. Okay, so I've got that uh, extension added on there and let's test it out here. I'm going to head over to, uh, I'll just go over to a wiki page. All right, here's a wiki page I've been to recently, and I got a little dictionary up there. Let me just click on it, see what happens. It prompts me to enter in a word. How about if I volatility? Okay, get definitions for the word volatility. That's pretty slick. And in theory, I should also be able to double click on a word, and there it is. I get a little dictionary pop up development um, charter. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so that's the dictionary. Uh, yeah, Google Dictionary. So that's a pretty neat little extension that might add to the usefulness of your Chrome browser. All right, so in addition to all the extensions, you can do the normal things too. I'm going to click on the uh, little wrench, the tools here, head over to Options. And this is something I really like about Chrome. Uh, their Options menu is extremely st streamlined. Okay, it's not a lot of things on there. So if you are not a very technical person, shouldn't have a lot of uh, stress about this. So on startup, I'm going to have my browser open up several pages, and I just listed all of these in here using the Add button. There we go. Uh, my home page is use the New Tab Page button. So basically, if I start up a new tab, it's going to give me a bunch of little thumbnails that represent websites that I go to more often than others. Okay. Default search is Google, but of course you could change that. Uh, personal stuff or form filling, that's pretty slick there. 
under the hood, you're probably going to be fine with the most default stuff on here. Uh, under privacy content settings, let's see, under cookies, I tend to block all third-party cookies. So that's something you might check or leave unchecked depending on personal preferences. Let me close out of that, close out of that, click a new tab. There we go, so there's a nice little uh, speed view of a whole bunch of different uh, websites, tend to be the ones I go to most often on my browser. Okay, there's YouTube. All right, so that's Google Chrome. Really fast, really easy to get into. Um, you can add extensions to increase its usability. Nice multi-purpose address box, which is also the search box. So everything's kind of nice and integrated, streamlined, and fast. So check it out.